Well, hello everybody. This is Ronnie with Whip and Chain. I work with Maggie and Lauren to bring you beautiful crochet tutorials. We're doing a month-long series on granny squares, so you're going to see all different kinds. This one today is the mosaic. It's beautiful. I chose to do maroon white. They're my school color, so I ran with it. It's a very easy, easy, easy. Can I stress it again? Very easy pattern and what's nice about this granny square if you want to turn this into a blanket you can just continue growing it you can, it can just go on and on and on until you decide you're done okay for this one I used a five millimeter crochet hook I found scrap yarn so um, this white is definitely Hobby Lobby's yarn and this maroon color is also it's definitely Hobby Lobby but if I show you, I lost my labels, so I apologize for that. So, let's get started. Now, I am recommending a magic ring for this. If you do not want to do a magic ring, you can chain uh, probably four and slip stitch to the first stitch. Okay? Nope. Oh. Okay, so to get started, with a magic ring you already chained one, so I need you to chain two more. And if you did the chain, chain up three. Okay. I want you to put in two more double crochets in the center. And I want you to chain three. One, two, and three. Then you put in three more double crochets. This is one, two, and three. Okay. Chain three again. One, two, three. Do again three more double crochets. One, two, and three. And another set of three chains, two and three. And then put in three more double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain three. And then you want to pull your center tight and slip stitch to the top of that chain three. Okay. Now I want you to chain three, two, and three, and put two more double crochets in this chain area, not in this stitch. In the chain. One, and two. Okay, then we're going to skip right over to here and we're going to do another corner. So we're going to do three double crochets. Two and three. Chain three. One, two, three. Put in three more double crochets in that same spot because you're doing a corner. One, two, and three. 
and you go to your next corner and do that again. Three double crochets. Chain three. And three double crochets. Go to your next corner. One. Two, three, chain three, one, two, three, one, two, and three. And then your last corner, we already did three, so we have to do the other three. One, two, three, chain three, and slip stitch to that top of the chain three. And this one you tie off. Okay. Now I'm going to pull in my maroon. Start in any corner that you would like. Okay. Chain three. One, two, three. Put two more double crochets right in there. One. And two. Now, see this center? I th I call this the runway, okay? Because you're not on a corner. See this center one right here? We're gonna go right into that. We're gonna put in one double crochet. Now we're gonna treble. So you wrap the hook twice, and you go down to your first row. That's center double crochet. See it? Out of the three. Take your hook and you just go around that center one. Wrap, come through. Don't make your yarn tight. Go through two, go through two, and go through two. And then again, up at the top, do one more double crochet. Now you're in a corner. So it's three double crochets, one, two, three, chain three, and three more double crochets, one, two, and three. Now we're on the runway again. So we're going to do the same thing that we did right over here. So first you put in one double crochet. Now you do a treble. You wrap twice, you go down to that center one, grab it, wrap your hook, go through, and make sure you're not pulling it too tight. And you go through. And then you do up the top, up and near, one more double crochet and then corner double crochet three times chain three three double crochets
We're in the runway again. So, double crochet. Wrap your hook twice, go down. Grab that center one and treble your way back down. And then a double crochet. And corner, you know what to do. Three double crochets. Chain three. And three double crochets. Back to the runway. So that's one double crochet. A treble all the way down the row before it. And a double crochet. And then you finish your corner. We already did three, so we have to do the other three. One, two, three, chain three, one, two, and three. And then you slip stitch to the top of your chain three. Okay, next row, chain three, two, and three, and put two more double crochets in that corner. One, and two. This row is super duper easy. All we're doing is in every space, we're putting three double crochets. No troubles, no nothing. Just in each space, you put in your three double crochets. Now, I want you to understand, as you're going along, see these spaces right here? This is how your, your square grows. So you gotta make sure you put in so in the corner, there's a space here and a space here, okay? So don't, don't miss your spaces. Then your corner will always be three double crochets. Chain three. And three double crochets. In your space right here, three double crochets. Next one, and three double crochets. So that's what you need to do all around this row. In the corner, you will do your three, chain three, three, and I'll meet you around. Okay, when you come around, you chain three, and you slip stitch to the top of that one. Now, if you're doing anything like my example, this is, I change color here, and then I go back to the white. But that's what it looks like so far. Pretty. See? Go back to your white or whatever colors you're choosing to use. Okay. Now, just so you know, I'm going to show you continuing.
but they're just a repeat of the last two rows. So chain three, one, two, three, and put two more double crochets in. One and two. Now, what's right here? Dip our runway. So we put in one double crochet, wrap your hook twice, and you go down below, and you grab that center one. And you do your treble. Then in the same one, you do another double crochet. Okay? Now you go to the middle one. Do your double. Wrap your hook twice and go down and wrap through the one that you did there. And then you do another double. Your next runway one. A double crochet. Then you do a treble down the row below. Just like that. And the corner is three double crochets. Chain three. Three double crochets. One. Two. And three. Next runway, one double crochet, and wrap your hook twice, and you go down to that pack of three, you go in that center one, and do your treble. Then you come back up and make sure you do your other double crochet. Hit your next runway one, double crochet, go down and catch the one you did, two and three, and then one more double crochet. And again, runway, double crochet. You treble. And do a double crochet. And then in your corner, you know what to do. And three. All right, I want you to finish this row. You know what to do. You got this. Well, this is what she should look like when you've done that row. So, if you're doing one like mine, I did one more row. So it's chain three, two more double crochets in that area, in that opening there. And this one's just easy, no trebles. This is just three double crochets in every area opening there is. Okay. 
And then you skip to the next one. See? That's it. That is all this pattern. So you're just putting three double crochets in it every window that's available to you here. And then the next. And then the corner, no, one more before the corner. And then when you reach the corner, it is three double crochets. One, two, three, and chain three. And that's what you do all the way around. Now you can keep repeating those two rows to make it as large as you want. It's totally up to you. So when you keep doing that, that last row, it'll turn out like that. See? Exact same thing. Okay? I hope you enjoyed this Granny Square as much as I did. If you did, can you please hit that like and subscribe button at the bottom? It would help us out so, so much. And come find us on Facebook under Whip and Chain. And we look forward to seeing you there. Our group is growing really fast. Until our next video, happy crocheting, everybody.